Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our TOEIC unit today. Today we're going to be talking about how to boost your work energy,、uh, which means you're at the job, you're at the office, and maybe you're feeling a little tired, and you want to be more productive to get that promotion, to get an increase in salary, and stuff like that. And I'm sure some of these tips could also be applied to school、uh, to increase your academic performance and stuff like that. But、uh, we're going to be focusing on how to boost your work energy. Mm. How to improve your work energy so that you've got lots of energy and you're not constantly thinking about taking a nap or going home and <laughs> going to bed. Yeah, sometimes we really do need a little boost, a little extra energy.、Um, I know that when I eat too much candy and I don't sleep at night, it's a problem during the day. Too much sugar. So、uh, let's go ahead. We will read through this, and we also have some extra dialogues to talk about and a discussion question. Hi everyone. Thanks for coming to my presentation. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips for maintaining your energy levels at work. You won't be as productive if you're tired, so finding ways to stay energized is important for workplace efficiency. There are several things you can do before you even get to work. Setting your alarm 15 minutes before you really need to get up will allow your body's waking processes to begin earlier. Thus, you'll feel wide awake by the time you arrive at the office. It's also important to eat a nutritious breakfast to get your metabolism going. Try to get plenty of protein, as this should prevent any mid-morning snacking. Once you arrive at work, take a moment to organize your desk. This simple task gets your mind working without overloading it. For the best results, do this activity standing. As this helps you focus and gives you a chance to stretch after your morning commute, caffeine is another tried and true method of boosting your energy. Research shows that it takes about 45 minutes for your body to fully absorb caffeine, so time your coffee breaks in order to make the most of this energy rush. Finally, pay attention to your physical health. Rest your eyes every 20 minutes or so. And take plenty of breaks to stretch and drink water. If you can do all this, you should have the energy you need to get through the day. Okay, everybody. Today we're actually kind of listening to a lecture or talking about a lecture given by a woman by the name of Diana, and she's talking about how to boost your work energy. So she's probably giving this presentation to a bunch of people who are interested in this. Maybe it's a presentation given at somebody's office or something like that. Who knows? But in any case, here's how she begins her speech. She says, "Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming to my presentation." Okay, that's usually how you begin. Again, a presentation, greeting your audience and、uh -huh. thanking them for coming and stuff like that. A presentation, of course, is when you offer to give someone some kind of information to convey some ideas to them.、Uh, it can be a presentation using、uh, computer software or something. What's the one they use? Excel, PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Yeah.、Uh, where you have the slides on a screen and you can uh, uh, demonstrate your points and illustrate what you're saying、uh, by giving that presentation. Of course, the verb. Is to present. You're going to present some information in a presentation. But honestly, for a presentation, all you need is you. You can stand in front of a room and just talk, and that's a presentation. So today,、uh, this lady says, "I'm going to share some tips for maintaining your energy levels at work."、Uh, some people are really good at this, and some people do all the bad things, like they drink too much coffee, which kind of it shoots you up at first, and then you you fall flat.、Mm. Uh, it's the same with eating chocolate. Candy can do that to you、uh, when you first eat. Candy, it may you know give you some false energy, but then very soon afterwards you just fall. I mean, you just have no energy. So try not to use candy and caffeine so much.、Um, I would suggest though. 
trying to take some nuts, some protein to work. Those are good for you. I read somewhere that an apple actually can give you a lot、yeah. of energy as well. And like they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah. So you might want to try that. But in any case, here she's going to give us some information. She's going to be sharing some tips for maintaining your energy levels. Yeah. At work to maintain to keep them high so that you can be at your best. And she goes on to say, "You won't be as productive if you're tired. So finding ways to stay energized is important for workplace efficiency. So yes, if you're tired, you won't be very productive. If you're productive, that means you produce a lot.、Uh, you produce things at high quality、mm -hmm. in a short amount of time. That's being productive. Gee, I haven't been very productive today. I haven't gotten anything done. Yeah, we'll often follow it up with that. What you." Just said, I haven't gotten anything done.、Uh, you haven't finished anything. So, yeah, efficiency means you use as little time or as little raw materials as possible to produce whatever you're、uh, making.、It、could be a product. You want efficiency in a factory.、Um, if you have an efficient worker, that's the adjective form. It means that worker doesn't waste things. They don't waste time. They don't waste.、Uh, Materials, or if they're sending you email, they don't write you a novel when all they needed to do was just send a couple of sentences. So be efficient; your boss will be happy. There are several things you can do before you even get to work.、Um, I like this tip. This one、uh, says to set your alarm 15 minutes before you actually need to get up. I did that last night. I thought, oh, I'll set it for 15 minutes early so that I can snooze three times and I'll feel less、uh, resentful. That I have to get up, and it always makes me happier. <laughs> I sort of do that, I guess.、Uh, my alarm goes off at 5 a.m.,、mm. and I'm supposed to begin my morning exercise routine at 5:30. So that gives me about a half hour to get ready for that. But sometimes I just want to snooze, and、yeah. I don't do my exercise. But in any case, it's kind of similar. You want to set your alarm clock, probably in your smartphone these days. Right. Set it 15 minutes before you really need to get up, because that allows your body's waking processes. Or processes to begin earlier, the body can、uh, start to understand. Oh yes, I need to get、yeah. up pretty soon, but you don't need to jump out of bed like you do if you're in the military or something like that. This、uh, gives you a little bit of time to、uh, you know get ready to actually pull back those covers and get up. Thus, or as a result, you'll feel wide awake by the time you arrive at the office. You won't be dozing off. You'll be rip raring, ready to go. Rip roaring, yeah. Roaring. Yeah. yeah. So here we've got、uh, another tip. It's also important to eat a nutritious breakfast to get your metabolism going.、Uh, that's a good tip. I don't do this. I never eat breakfast. So if you're eating something nutritious, it means that particular type of food that you're eating has a lot of vitamins and minerals and. Things that your body needs to repair itself and to function at a high level. Your metabolism is the process in your body that breaks down the food that you eat and then sends that energy to different parts of your body. If you have a fast metabolism, you're probably thin. But if your metabolism is slow and it slows down as you age, it means. You know, you can't eat as much food as you used to because that weight stays on you. So hopefully, you're getting your metabolism going in the morning. Xin Chen Dai Xie, I believe、mm. in Chinese metabolism. So try to get plenty of protein, which of course is done by you. You get protein from meat and eggs and beans. As this should prevent any mid-morning snacking. So I didn't really know that tip there. Get a lot of protein. Go ahead and have an egg there or a slice of meat in the morning. And if you have that protein, then you probably won't get hunger pangs、uh, around ten o'clock. You won't want to do that mid-morning snacking. Okay, so that's probably advisable there. And once you arrive at work, after you've、uh, driven to work or taken the bus or ridden your bicycle or whatever, once you get to work, take a moment to organize your desk.、Uh, if you had done that the night before, then I suppose there's nothing to organize. But hey, maybe you worked overtime the night before. And your desk is a big mess. Hey, organize it. Put things away. Put papers in a nice stack. Put the books back in the shelf and stuff like that. Maybe wipe off your keyboard. Things like that.、Uh, kill some germs.、Uh, sterilize it or whatever. Yes, organize your desk. Make it nice and tidy. 
Yeah,、uh, I like to organize before I leave for the day because I'm depressed if I come into work and my desk is a mess. So,、mm. uh, if you overload something, you have too much burden that's being put on you.、Uh, you can overload、uh, your electricity. Uh, maybe you've got、uh, an electrical strip that you plug your computer into.、Uh, you don't want to overload that.、Um, if you're overloaded with work, you have too much. You can't handle it. So try not to overload your mind in the morning.、Um, and I like this tip:、uh, if you gotta organize your desk, do it standing up. That gets your blood flowing too, and also you need to get up out of your chair every so often and walk around. It's better for your health.、Um, it says if you do organize by standing up in the morning, it gives you a chance to stretch after your morning commute. Your commute is、uh, the the travel time that it takes you to get from your home to the office.、Um, I've had some good commutes and I've had some bad commutes. When I lived in California, my commute. Uh, was about fifty minutes in my car, Ugh, and the traffic was awful. When I lived in New York, it probably took me ten minutes to get to work. I would take the subway. Here in Taiwan, it probably takes me five minutes to get here from my home. It's very close, so my commute here is great. Uh, I'm about twenty、uh, minutes away.、Mm. It kind of depends on how I come, but、uh, it's important to know that commute can be both a noun and a verb. To commute means to go back and forth、yeah. from home to work or from home to school and back again. Commute and commute, of course, is the noun. A commuter is a person who does that.、Uh, so, in any case,、uh, yes, indeed, you've been sitting down in your car or on the bus or something. So, yeah, you need to stand up and get moving, stretch a bit there. And、uh, hey, you'll have energy that way. And caffeine is another tried and true method of boosting your energy. So here we have caffeine.、Uh, that's the chemical substance that is in coffee and tea,、mm. and in chocolate as well. I'm not going to get into the chemical formula here, but basically, caffeine is caffeine、mm -hmm. in Chinese, and we have caffeine in coffee or tea as well. Although there's not as much caffeine in tea as there is in Coffee, but we're describing this as a tried and true method of boosting your energy. It's been tried, and it's now true. People have tried this, and it has shown that it's actually effective. So it's tried and true. It's been shown to be effective. Yeah, tried and true.、Uh, you'll often see that、um, when people talk about something that they've used and it's worked. So tried and true, and it's true. A lot of people need that cup of coffee or tea, mostly coffee though, in the morning、mm. to boost their energy. It does get your blood and heart beating faster. It gets the, gets you feeling like you have a lot more energy.、Um, research shows that it does take about forty five minutes for your body to fully absorb the caffeine. So that you feel the effect. If you absorb something, you take it in. You could be in class studying and have a teacher giving the lecture, and you can absorb that information, take it in.、Uh, but we also use it when we're talking about something like a rag, a dish rag, or a sponge that we use to wash dishes with. It will absorb water, take water in, like suck it up. So、uh, if you absorb caffeine,、um, it's Fully、uh, taken into your body, and your body's able to react to it. So the the tip here is to time your coffee breaks in order to make the most of this energy rush. Maybe you have a really important presentation at ten. You might want to hold off on your caffeine till nine fifteen, just so that the caffeine rush is at the highest level possible.、Uh, to make the most of something means. You do something to get the most benefit out of it. So make the most of your time away on vacation. Don't waste it. If you're on vacation, don't keep checking work emails. Really, vacation, relax. Don't mix the two together. Make the most of your time. Mine was sort of、uh, sort of opposite、uh, when we went to Bali,、yeah. uh, the island.、Uh, we had to make the most of our trip. I just wanted to relax at the resort、yeah. and、uh, take it easy. But hey, there were all these performances going on, museums and shopping and stuff. So my wife kept saying, "Hey, let's make the most of our time here. Let's go see those performances. Let's go shopping. Let's do this. Let's do that." And it actually ended up being more exhausting than actually <laughs> working for a living. Yeah, I want to relax on vacation. I'm with you. <laughs> But、uh, still, there those those performances actually were. 
quite entertaining. But、Good. in any case, here, yes, you want to make the most of this energy rush, rush, or take advantage of this energy rush. And finally, pay attention to your physical health. Physical means having to do with your body, as opposed to emotional health or mental health.、Mm. Uh, pay attention to your physical health. Yeah, keep an eye on your body there.、Uh, for example, rest your eyes every twenty minutes or so, and take plenty of breaks to stretch and drink water. I think most of us、uh, do jobs which involve staring at a computer screen pretty much all day long, and that's a close distance. You know, that's not、uh, very good for your eyes. The eyes have to sort of contract or stretch. I'm not sure which one in order to focus at such a close distance. So yes, you're putting stress on your eyes. So yes, rest your eyes every twenty minutes or so. Maybe close your eyes or stand up and look at something that's far away. And also, you need to take plenty of breaks to stretch and drink water. You could bend down and try to touch your toes, or maybe wave your arms a little bit. Maybe do a little bit of qigong or something, and do that about every twenty minutes. And of course, drink some water. Yeah, I think that is a tip that we can actually apply to people who are home. Uh, surfing the internet or playing video games, you got to get up every so often and just stretch and rest your eyes a little bit.、Um, I'm hearing uh, reports uh, from studies that are being done on kids who are on their smartphones too much. It's not good for us, so make sure you get a break from some of these things. Give your body a rest. Okay, guys, we're going to、uh, listen to our Chinese teacher first, and then we'll be back to talk about these extra dialogues and our discussion. Question. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Today we're looking at the fourth unit. We're going to talk about how to boost your energy. Okay, 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 那可能，呃，你就可以知道以后怎么样来保持精力充沛。那因为一个人一旦疲劳，事情做事就没有什么效果了。那这边注意到，哎，他说到 ，you won't be as productive。知道 ，productive 是指工作力有成效。哎，所以 as productive。不会是那么的有成效。换句话说 ，you won't be as productive as you should be. 好，我们再来往下面。下面第二段就说到要怎么做。它的第一个方法是设闹钟。设在什么时间？设在你非得起床不可之前的十五分钟。好，这是 tip number one。第一点。不过注意到这个结构里面 ，setting your alarm fifteen minutes before you really need to get up. 这个地方很明显，它 setting up 这个 setting 是一个动名词。我们知道动名词片语是可以当主词用的。好，那这件事情做了，嗯，这样可以让你身体醒过来。让你心里早一点开始醒过来。好，这是第一。那第二件事呢？他说到的第二个 tip 就是 to eat a nutritious breakfast。早餐要吃的好，吃的营养。好，他说这样子的话可以 get your metabolism going。Metabolism 讲的是新陈代谢。他说 get something going， 记得这有含义，代表启。动，本来 get somebody to do something 会用所谓的不定词，但是 get going 就是启动。好，我们来看下面说到，当然说要吃营养的早餐，其中一点就是，哎，怎么吃才叫营养？记得要摄取大量的 protein 蛋白质。为什么？看到这个字 as as 它当做因为。它事实上是一个连接词。好，后面接的当然就是理由喽。因为你知道，嗯，这一点呢、啊，就可以让你十点之前。
不会觉得很饿，然后十点前就想要吃点心，所以早餐吃得好，这是 Tip Number Two。好，再来还有什么呢？第三点，他说到 Once you arrive at work， 这个 Once 记得是一旦，这也是一个连接词。一旦你到达了工作的地点，好 ，Tip Number Three， 第三点。这个就是叫你要先整理桌子，哎，整理桌子，为什么？他说这样子的话呢，嗯，你就头脑呢不会一下子好像觉得好像很乱，有很多事情在在烦你，不会觉得负荷过多，所以整理桌子很重要哦。而且，嗯，他说在你整理桌子的时候，还要注意你要保持的是。站立的姿势，因此这边说 do this activity standing。好，接下来他又提到了，除了第三点，再往下一段。嗯，这接下来第四点就是喝咖啡。他说，咖啡因可以增加你的活力，而且这个可是 tried and true。Tried and true. 记得 tried 是去 y 加 i d， 这表示是已经试过的哦，或者是被尝试过，而且是的确证明有效的方法。好，那他说到喝咖啡呢，要注意，因为要怎样？哎，你喝的对，时间喝的对，那才可以有效果。因为咖啡。喝到人身体里大概要花个四十五分钟，然后呢才会有效果。所以他就说要 time your coffee breaks。哎 ，time 是算时间。哎，要好好的掌握你喝咖啡的时机。再来，我们看下面最后，他又说到第五个 tip， 注意身体的健康。Pay attention to， 这是一个很简单的片语。就是注意，注意你的 physical health。当然，下面就告诉你怎么个注意法。比如说，舒展肢体，还要多喝水，这样子就会让你真正达到 boost your work energy。OK， 我们今天讲解就到这边结束，我们下次见。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. I think that's a that's a good question. You'll often hear it. I I I gotta get it. I gotta get out of town. I gotta recharge my batteries. You know, I'm just kind of sick of work. So the next one is: Is it a good idea to take a nap? That's a very interesting question because it's part of Taiwan culture to take a nap at noon. Uh, and the answer is, even a ten-minute nap can help restore your energy. Just make sure you won't get in trouble for taking one. <laughs> so I don't know if you're going to get in trouble taking a nap here in Taiwan because no. it's very accepted. Yes. But in the U.S., maybe not so much. Yeah. If、uh, someone sees you sleeping at your desk, they're going to think, "Oh, you're being irresponsible. You're、mm -hmm. not、uh, doing your job." Yeah. But、uh, that's why we're saying here you might get in trouble for taking a nap. But、uh, I think、uh, the idea of taking a nap is actually. Good. It restores your energy, and you've got new energy levels after you've taken that nap. 
after lunch, especially. Yeah,、uh, we'll often call those short naps a power nap or a cat nap. Cat, C A T, a cat nap.、Uh, my dad used to do power naps at work. He would get up at four. My dad only would sleep three or four hours a night, but he'd get up really early in the morning. But he would have that power nap at lunch. He'd sit up straight in his chair and he could sleep. He's weird. Wow. But、uh, yeah, I'm not a good. Power nap person.、Uh, when I take a nap, I just want to stay asleep for a couple of hours. So just check out the culture of of your workplace. If it's acceptable to take a nap, go for it. If it's not, you're going to have to、uh, train yourself not to need a nap at lunch. Here's the third one, Tom. I'm always so busy during the day. I'm sure I'll forget most of these tips. Don't worry. There are plenty of smartphone apps that can give you reminders. <laughs> Now, most of us, of course, are addicted to our smartphones.、Uh, the companies that write the software do that on purpose to make us addicted to those things. We're always on those phones. So, hey,、uh, you can use those to your advantage. There are lots of apps or applications or app, as you say in Chinese, and these applications or apps can give you reminders on. How to reboost your energy、uh, to get up and go for that walk, or you know, get up every twenty minutes and、uh, look at something far away, or something、mm -hmm. like that. Exercise your eyes, stretch,、uh, time out your coffee breaks.、Uh, these apps can help you with that. Yeah, I like if I have a chance, I like to get out and just walk a little bit.、Um, if it's not too cold or not too hot, although I'm more likely to go when it's really cold outside.、Um, so those are some of the things you can do. Now, here's our discussion question. Uh, which is, what do you do when you're feeling tired? How do you boost your energy? Well, if it's during the day, I actually do take a nap. Usually about twenty or thirty minutes、nice. will do the trick, and、yeah. I'll have some new energy. But if I can't take a nap, maybe yeah, I'll, I'll have an apple, drink some coffee, or just move around.、Uh, maybe do a little bit of tai chi moves or something、uh -huh. like that,、mm. or、uh, you know, bend down and touch my toes or something. That might do the trick.、Uh If I have two hours between、uh, gigs or, or recording jobs, sometimes I'll just go to the gym and I'll walk for thirty minutes and lift weights for a little bit and then run home.、Uh, that makes me feel like I've accomplished a lot that day.、Um, I don't always get that though. Sometimes I have to go even without lunch and I'm working straight through. But if I can, I, I just want to get out and walk a little bit. Yeah, you know, shake it off. Tom and I usually aren't looking at computers all day long, so、mm. uh, I don't have to worry about my eyes so much. But I do、uh, bend over a lot when I'm recording, so I need to think about holding my back, you know, straight, having good posture. But、uh, my best plan is. To go to the gym lately, yeah. Okay, that sounds like good advice, and we certainly had a very enlightening discussion here. Hopefully, you all can have a discussion as interesting as the one we just had. That brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us, and make sure you join us again next time when we actually talk about what some of those apps are. Until then, from all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Bye.